guys, it's Megan. Welcome back to my channel, Peachy Squad. Today I am so excited because we are doing a makeup and hair tutorial. Disclaimers, not a makeup guru. I get asked about my makeup a lot, so I thought I would just show it to you guys. Also, I'm trying to get ahead on content because as some of you guys know, I am like going into surgery. By the time you guys are watching this video, I will have been out of surgery. I go into surgery Thursday morning. So this is like, you know, I'm like recovering now, but I wanted to do this tutorial because I felt like a lot of you guys wanted to know about it and it was easy because I have to do it every day anyway. So let's get into it. And I'm out of breath because I like forgot so many things that I had to run up upstairs and downstairs. I have all my makeup laid out in front of me. I have this camera and then I have this artifact of a mirror here. I never ever do my makeup like this. I always do it downstairs in my bathroom. So this is going to be quite different. So I, I've, I've already washed my face and you guys can see that I do have like texture. I have like some zits here. I woke up with this one. The lights kind of flush it out, but in person I have a lot more like sun damage. And last time I said this, some of you guys got really offended. Like freckles some freckles are some damage some freckles are freckles I have both um so I have some really apparent sun damage but also freckles so use your sunscreen guys all the time I would add makeup to the sunscreen routine not planning on going outside even for like a split second today so first thing I do is I apply moisturizer this is Murad hydration nutrient charged water gel I like this a lot more than the other one that they have I apply it generously generously glob glob might be too much, but I also just think it can never be enough because I don't want to get wrinkles and you don't want to forget your neck. I know it's like, Megan, you're only 26. What do you mean wrinkles? I just don't. I just don't want them, okay? I just don't. So I put it everywhere. Make sure you get it down your neck too. I never ever use primer because I think it clogs your pores. I've been doing my makeup for like over 10 years. I think I started doing my makeup in the eighth grade, maybe the seventh grade. So just do what works for you. I used to use primer, but now I find that just moisturizer works a lot better for me. Next up, concealer. So I have this, um, it's really dirty. As I talk about like not wanting to clog pores, I pull out like this really dirty like makeup sponge. This is so weird. I've never really done a makeup tutorial. I mean, I did a long time ago. So I just put it all over my eyes like this, like so. Put it on my, my little zits. They're hanging out. They're having a good time and I can't blame them for that, but I might start charging them rent. I'm like wondering how like this is gonna look because like I said, not used to doing my makeup here, but it's happening anyway. As we can see, we're a little bit evened out, you know? I don't know really what order I do all of this in, but it's the order that works for me. And then I take a concealer brush, again, dirty. Not a makeup guru, this is the reality of my life. And I just dip in and then I carve out the bottom of my eyebrows. So my eyebrows, guys, they're like, kind of naturally thick because they're microbladed on. And I know a lot of you guys are younger and trust me, you do not need this much makeup. I do my makeup for myself. I do my makeup because it makes me feel pretty. I don't do my makeup for boys. I don't do my makeup to impress others. I do what I feel comfortable doing and I implore you to do the same. Maybe you're not allowed to wear makeup yet. That's okay. Don't feel like you need makeup. Don't feel like you need to impress boys. Don't feel like you need to be cool and wear makeup. You like don't. I have been doing my eyeliner pretty heavy since I was like a kid. Um, my mom did not like it, um, but she knew that there was probably a lot worse things I could have done out there. So after I do that, so as we can see, I've already made a flaw. I've already, you know, I've let my concealer sit on for a good amount of time, which I know you're supposed to set it immediately. I don't. Then I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Little Brow Wiz. Now this is like the thicker one. I don't go crazy with this because I don't need to. I don't have any eyebrow filling in um, advice because I don't fill in my eyebrows. I got them microbladed, like I said. So if you're looking for advice on how to fill in your eyebrows, you came to the wrong makeup tutorial. So I just kind of like, like I'm like trying to do it in like the camera. Just, you know, it's time for foundation. I use this Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place makeup. Um, And I hear that matte makeup is out, but I, I still wear matte makeup. So lately, I've also been taking this uh, Hollywood Flawless filter. It doesn't really match my skin tone. They only have like a couple skin tones. So I just like kind of put it on my hand next to this one like this. And it like, you know, it's like kind of like a more dewy thing. And then I like mix those together. And I just, I just go for it. You know, like you just, you just go for it all over. And I go back over my concealer. I'm not perfect, guys. I don't do my makeup perfectly. I do try to make sure it's all blended. At the end of the day, makeup isn't like who you are. <laughs> so we'll just uh, put on like that, uh-huh. That's like one side versus the other. So I'm gonna do the other side really quick. Oh my gosh, like my skin, I woke up and I know it looks good. I know it looks good on camera. In real life, it does not look this good. I, I've been so stressed 
and my back is broken out, my face is broken out. I just, I, I've started like new medications and it's not perfect. I'm not complaining, but I am disappointed. I did have a parent email me one time and they were like, my kid looks up to you and she thinks having one zit's the end of the world. And I was like, I don't really think I've ever complained about having a zit, so I don't know who they were watching, but like, it wasn't me. <laughs> that I think looks pretty good. So I actually have a really deep crevice on my nostrils, as you can see here. And people think it's like dirt sometimes. It's not, I just have a really dark indent in my nose where my nostrils are. So I got bullied for it in school a couple times. It's really cool. Now it's time to powder. I've been really liking this Charlotte Tilbury brand. So you just like kind of like glob it on there, you know, like it's not really glob cause it's not, a, it's not a liquid, but I just like kind of put it in the spots I feel like need to be set in place. You don't wanna to go too crazy with this, I don't think. I think that's like out. I think people aren't doing that anymore. This is where things get dicey. This is where I don't really know what I'm doing, but I just do it anyway, cause I was like conditioned to do it. Cheek to cheek. Charlotte Tilbury, it's like a bronzer. As we can see here, I just kinda like, uh, and then I put it on the top of my cheekbone now. I used to put it down here, but I have a long face. So this has kind of been working out better for me. So yeah, just, just a little bit of, just a tiny bit. Then I grab my, I don't even know what brand this is, but this is blush. So I just kinda like, and then I, Put it on the apples of my cheek. I lift it up to here. Now you guys say I wear too much blush. I know I do. I know I do. But when your hair is like this pink, I'm like it just like, it matches. Like you just, it works. Also blush fades. So I put my blush on pretty heavy, uh, expecting it to fade and then it does. Like by the time I'm done with my makeup routine, my blush like fades into my makeup. I'm, I know people are watching this like, what the heck? Sometimes I'll blend it, you know? Like, oh, relax and I unrelax. Now that my powders are done, my eyebrows are still carved out. I go in with my brow gel and then I kind of like brush up like this. Cause I know right now it's like pretty in to have like brushed up brows. I don't know. I kind of do like this, this and then I like kind of smooth it out on the sides. I kind of fluffs them up a bit. <sighs> now it's time for the part I know you clicked into the tutorial for, but wait, I'm gonna do an optional step. Eyeshadow on the bottom. I just dip into any of these. I don't care which one, just any of them. Mostly this purple one or this pink one right here. And I just like go and draw like a tiny little line underneath my eye. It can be messy. It's meant to be. Like I said, time for the moment you guys have all been waiting for, eyeliner. I've been doing a cat eye and it's evolved and gotten better since I was a kid. Do not get discouraged if you can't do this. I still mess it up all the time. What I do is I make sure like, I, so I use this pointed dagger one. I don't think that they sell these anymore. I just close my eye. Sometimes I don't, but sometimes I do. Draw a line. I've already messed it up like that. And then I leave my eye open and then I connect the line. Like I just draw it straight. Just let me see if I can, show you guys like that right and then I close my eye and I draw a line straight down like that and then I fill in that shape I just made that looks awful oh my gosh it looks like so much better on camera than it, as in real life so that's good but as we can see here when I really let my eyes sit it kind of connects pretty well so that's kind of I've gotten pretty good at doing like this bat wing thing, but sometimes I know you guys see like, I have a little bit more of a shape going. That's because what I do, if I really let my eye sit, you could see how it like a little bit disconnects there. I just like color that in. And then it gives me like a little bit of a starting point and then I'll just like, draw back the other way like that. The eyeliner in general is optional. Sometimes I just put on my eyelashes. Time to do the other side and I hope that they match. Um, sometimes I do it more straight. Sometimes I don't do the line. Like uh, once you start doing your makeup, you just kind of do whatever you feel like that day. And then the hard part about eyeliner is getting it even. And um, sometimes when it's uneven, I just leave it cause my eyelashes hide it and people don't really see it. Anyway, then I curl my eyelashes like this. Like this. And then I use the Marc Jacobs, I use like a Marc Jacobs mascara. It's my favorite. So I get all the extra off <laughs> like this. The way I do my mascara is I kind of just blink into it. Like, you know, get it done how you see fit. And then I like, oh, I almost forgot. So this is also an optional step. Sometimes I draw on bottom eyelashes and the way I do that is I just like literally grab my eyeliner and I, this is like no rhyme or reason. I just draw lines. Like really randomly, like that. <laughs> Up close, can you guys even see? It's like, just lines, they're just lines. And now let's put mascara on the bottom lashes. 
And then there's like most of my eye makeup done. I just need to um, put on eyelashes. But I think right now I'm going to finish up my face makeup and that is with highlighters. So the highlighters I use are these Cover FX glitter drops. I just got some more of them. I really like them. And I, how I do this is I just put this on the back of my hand as well. So then I just kind of like rub it on my fingers like this and then I just like do this like doo -doo -doo -doo. And I just kind of blend, blend it in with my finger and then sometimes when I feel fancy I'll put it underneath the arch of my eyebrow. I have this Urban Decay heavy glitter and I just kind of squeeze out the top. I take my nail the back of my nail and I do this and this is when I'm feeling extra fancy. Say I have like something I'm doing a lot of videos or like I have a little extra time. I just like put the glitter like on my cheek right here. This is not for the light of heart. I get another glob, like a glob, literally a glob. And then I just like stick it in the corner of my eye. And like, it's really cute, but then also sometimes it just feels like you have eye boogers and it's, they get like kind of crusty. It's uneven, it's bothering me. Okay, let's put on the eyelashes so I can forget about it. So I wear Lily lashes. I use my tweezers. These are Tweezerman tweezers. They're super broken. I like dropped them a million times. Really, you could use anything, but I use these. Here's, here's the lash. And I use Velour eyelash glue. I'm like wondering if I'm gonna be totally dragged for my makeup tutorial by anybody who's like an adult and knows what they're doing. Oh, don't. And then you wanna give it a second to get tacky. I do this a little bit. Three, two, one. Give it a little blow. And then I kind of just like, zoink, like drop it on there. Sometimes push it up, cause I know like, getting the eyelashes even too is also kind of difficult. So I don't like doing my makeup this way. I like doing it downstairs where I have a sink and I can wash my hands between products. These eyelashes are getting kind of old. I think you can wear them for up to like 30 wears, which I definitely do. They're looking rough. I mean, look at that. She's seen some days, all right? Just a grown. And then sometimes that happens. Sometimes that happens and I have to take it off. See, cause now they look kind of uneven. So what I do is I stare at myself in the mirror um, until I don't hate them. I just kind of like finesse it, move it around until it looks like the other eye. Cause you have some time while the glue is still drying to kind of like push her up. So they look even. In real life, I don't, they definitely don't look even on camera because for some reason I'm like tilting my face. I don't know. Now I wear an array of lip products. It's different every time, but it's always like a nude. I think that suits me best. So today I think I'll just wear the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Lip Cheat Pillow Talk and I just trace a lot on like this. I like the nude because doesn't need to be perfect. Like I don't look uneven in real life, but I definitely look uneven on camera, which is really interesting to me. And then I got this ColourPop Animal Crossing little like, what is it called? It's like a, I don't know what it is. It's kind of like a lip tint, lip color. And I just like put that on over it. I feel like that's like pretty much it. And then when I'm done, I use this Rihanna Fenty Beauty Baby What It Do to set my makeup and I do this. To feel like just you know fresher here's like kind of like you know nice little profile photo mm -hmm. this side is this is not my good side this is this is my good side this is not uh <laughs> after that hair so if you guys want to know how i dye my hair i don't i go to a professional stylist and get it done i never really do anything with my hair i just washed it this morning and it's kind of still drying a little bit but i don't do anything with it because since i bleach and dye my hair already it's pretty damaged so i try to reduce the amount of heat i use on it i halfway dry it and then i um i just kind of leave it sometimes in the morning i'll give it a little like flat iron really quick when i am recording i'll wear two butterfly clips so i'll just kind of grab my hair like this and clip it like there's really like it's there's really like you really can't mess it up so just like that they're a little uneven so i'll just i'll just wear the one on the purple side to give my hair like a little bit more dimension and then i'll let this side just like hang down because obviously there's not a lot going on here but it does add volume whenever I put my pump balls on. That's it. And if you guys want to get yourself a pom pom headband, I sell them at cpeachy.com. There is the finished makeup look. After that, I wash my hands. I'm gonna go wash my hands. The makeup came off. Um, sometimes there is like little remnants, 
because I don't get all the way up here sometimes. I brought my box of jewelry up here so I can put it all on for you. I don't wear earrings when I record because of the headphones, they hurt. Um, I put on my wedding ring on this finger and then this James Avery little heart ring on this finger. And then I also have like a little pink gemstone ring that's super dirty. And then sometimes I'll put on this bracelet. Other times when I have nails, it's just a little bit more difficult, but we're here, we're doing it. So guys, like I said, there's a finished makeup look. Remember, you are beautiful the way you are. You don't need makeup. I use makeup as a way to express myself. Just like be who I feel like I am on the inside, on the outside. You don't need makeup to be cool. You don't need makeup to impress boys. I just do it because it's how I feel like prettiest and it makes me feel comfortable to wear my makeup. So guys, thank you so much for watching today's real life video. If you loved it, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, leave a comment down below, Peachy Squad. Thank you so much. Do not forget to hashtag say Peachy, stay kind, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!